Slowly but surely, I've come to the conclusion that men will not change, and that generally speaking, men are not amenable to the idea of introspection about themselves and their nature as human beings. Mind you, I've not come to this conclusion rashly. It's taken many months, as well as several conversations with Girl Rights What, Man, Woman, Myth, and Barbarossa. And I may even contri have contributed to this, focusing too much on cause and effect, the external rather than the internal, which is exactly what is routinely shunned by the human male. Whatever competing theories there might be for the explanation of the larger events at sea, it seems unavoidable that to fully understand the issues we talk about, a discussion of male identity is required, a long and thorough one. As I said, I have possibly been remiss in doing so, but beyond this there seems to be an overarching and nigh omnipresent desire to avoid certain central questions of male identity and the strength of this resistance to raising the question itself is immense. I do think there is some validity to the ideas I have proposed in terms of explanation of larger phenomena, though these explanations were never intended to encompass all avenues of human activity. But I think more than anything, and what men in general refuse to do is to turn inwards reflect on themselves, as well acknowledge weakness of men that they will externalize all things, often to their own detriment. For in this case, it will be far more beneficial to internalize instead of externalize. And what exactly do I mean by this? Well, we often speak of the worker drone model, and that is synonymous with the provider. In fact, maladaptive as the role is in modernity, I've come to the conclusion that men, generally speaking, are just that, and that's all they want to be. They do not wish to be anything else, nor can they envision themselves being anything else. I look at how men completely fall apart at the seams when this role is stripped from them, taken away, and I also look at the true motivations behind most traditional conservatives, which is partly, of course, a yearning for the past, but much more so a yearning for being needed. Men must feel needed to have any sense of validation or worth. And part of the phenomenon of male suicide after a failed marriage is not just the loss of access to children and a wife who they believe loved him. It is the realization that men are not needed. I would argue this desire to be needed is even greater in most men than the desire to feel loved by women. Men mistakenly believe that they were needed in the past, but this is an illusion in large measure. The difficulties of the past environment required an intercessor to work on behalf of the human female. This intercessor happened to be the human male, but this was, as I have often stated, only conditional and dependent on the environment. When the environment changed, so too did the requirements of women, and one which they quickly did away with was their conditional, and I repeat conditional, need for men. And men, who must be needed above all things, have not and do not deal with this well. Which is why you see the endless back and forth between the factions within the so-called manosphere, and this is why you even see prominent MRAs publicly making statements such, uh, such as Quote, I am okay with being a utility as long as I am rewarded for it, unquote. You see, men want to be utilities. Above all else, that is their desire. They cannot conceptualize anything beyond this role for themselves, and thus, that is what they are. Men are just tools, and not human beings, because they do not wish to be. They do not wish to be anything else to the world and women. Most men simply cannot conceive of an identity outside this role, and thus the clamoring of the quote-unquote change the law crowd, which simply means if the laws were different, women would quote-unquote need men again. Men are needy, pathetic creatures, and women recognize this. They've always known exactly what men are, and the simple fact that most men cannot handle no longer being needed, as manifested by the destruction of their provider role of the past, is a testament to this. And more importantly, men will not change, and do not want to change. 
Most men do not want to look inwards at themselves and their weaknesses, and thus the endless factional battles within the so-called men's movement. It is this realization that has led me to believe not only that this entire endeavor is hopeless on a mass scale, but has also made me understand why most of what I have said has fallen on deaf ears, why most men do not actually listen to what I've, what I've pointed out, to the point sometimes where I often have to ask myself if they even watch the videos they're commenting on. Men want to be provider utilities, and because of that, that is all you are as a man. You have no identity outside of this, and you cannot live without being such. In many ways, women are far more flexible creatures than are men, much more responsive to environmental change, and much more able to react. Men are, simply put, fossils. So, essentially, what I've been doing on this channel has been a waste, in, a waste of time for the most part. And though I do not intend to entirely give up this channel, I have no intention of furnishing it further on any large scale. There will be a marked decrease in effort on my part. To the extent that I do upload in the future, I will do so solely for myself and for the literal handful of men who are not utilities and do not wish to be, and seek understanding of the self. Beyond this, there is not much sense in continuing on with this. Men do not want to change, and cannot change in any significant numbers. I believe it was man-woman myth who said that if the penalty for divorce were decapitation, men would still get married. It's a fitting way to close up this video. Men are incapable of self-reflection and personal change. So with that, I will leave it to the men still clinging to the utopia of the past to battle away at the forces of the evil left, the MRA seeking to change the law so men are quote-unquote needed again, and the mighty patriarchs of utility and real men. Have a good one.